Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C Programming Sessions. In today's session, I'll be explaining you about structures in C. We'll be seeing some of the topics like explaining about what is structure and what is the need of structure. And after understanding it, we'll see how to create a simple structure in C program, how to create the variables of structure, and finally we'll see how to create nested structure inside another structure. Let's first start and foremost, what is structure? A structure is a user-defined data type. That means if I want to store 10, then I can store in integer variable. If I want to store 10.56, I can store in float or double value. If I want to store A, then a character data type is available in C. So most of the all the values to be stored is some or another data type is available. If someone says to store a student data or someone says to store an employee data or management related data. So in these all cases student data means student is having roll number, student is having name, student may have address, student may have a blood group, student may have marks for different subjects, age, date of birth. So all these data can't be stored in a single data type. That means built-in data types will not help in such a situations. So what is the option? Either we can't store it or we need some options to store the values of student. So the C programming language gives us an option called a structure. It says that as per your requirement, you can create your own data type with the help of structure. Such a functionality is also available in union that is also in the C language. So structure and union are both are user defined data type which provide us the functionality of creating a new data type as per our requirements. So we have understood that whenever we face a problem that some values we are having which will not be stored in any of the built-in data type in that scenarios we have to create our own data type and that is called a structure. So the content is clear what is structure and what is its name. Let's understand if we are clear that how to create the structure. First and foremost I'll show you a, with coding. Suppose someone says a student data. I want to store students information. So first thing you have to ask what are the data a student will have. He will have an ID, he will have marks, he will have name, XYZ, whatever your requirements are. Declare it in one single space. After declaring all the variables, surround that particular area with a keyword called struct and whatever the data type you are giving the name. That means this is now going to be your own data type. So what name you want to assign? It is better to give some user friendly name so that it can be easily be understood. Like all these variables are representing information of students. So my data type's name is student. So after doing that, put a curly braces at the front and the last and a semicolon. This is the simplest way you can create a structure. By doing that, you can say I have created my own data type named student. So by coding, we have seen how to create a structure. Now comes what is variables. If someone says you want to store 10 value, you will not say integer 10. Someone says I want to st store 10 value, you will not say like integer 10. This is not possible. You will say what integer i equal to 10. Here what basically you have done is you have created a variable i of data type of integer and then you store 10 in t inside that in i. Similarly you have created a structure variable or st sorry structure data type. So you can't store values in student. You have to create variables or you can say if you know C++ then you can say that it is objects. Okay, so in C we call it as variables. So before storing any values, you have to create variables. Suppose you want to store 10 students values, then you have to create 10 different variables. If someone says I want to store two students data, so you have to create two variables. How you will create the variables? Struct student s1 comma s2. So here in this way, we have created the two variables of structure. So we come to know how to create the variables. Let's see first understand full complete program. If someone says I have got some data of student to be stored like their ID and name or ID and marks. So first and foremost we identify that as user defined data type is required because built in data type can't store ID and marks at a simultaneously. So I created a struct student with integer ID and integer marks. So I've declared it. Generally we declare structure before the main method so it can be accepted by any of the functions also. Now comes the variable creation. I have two students data to be created. Uh, I mean two data students of data to be stored. So I say struct student s1 comma s2. Here I've created two students variable. F simply you say printf scanf. What you want to store s1's id. So you say s1 dot id. 
s1 dot marks so here I, i'll not say simply id because whose id i want to store s1 so i'll represent it by the variable name after doing that value will be stored in s1's id and marks i have printed the id and name